Welcome to the Business Process Automation Platform training videos from Codeless Platforms. Here are the objectives, required tools, and approximate running time for this video. The Import Flat File tool is valuable to many business process automation scenarios. Where data is held as a CSV, spreadsheet, or as a more complex flat file database, this tool can extract data to be used as part of wider business processes, such as e-commerce or data warehousing. Used as part of a process with other BPA platform tools, it can be used to transform and map data to e-commerce and ERP systems, and is particularly useful for the initial synchronization of large volumes of data, such as product and manufacturing data sheets. The Import Flat File tool imports delimited or fixed width files, extracting the file content and file properties, and outputting it as either a record set or XML. The columns in a record set, or nodes and nested elements in an XML file, can be inferred from an imported example, or created manually. Data validation can also be applied to only import the required data. In the following example, we will use the flat file import tool to extract example product data in CSV format, use a decision step to verify files exist, use the transform data tool to loop and map the data, convert the XML to a record set, send the data to the SQL staging database with the stored procedure tool, and finally, use the file management tool to move the processed file from the awaiting processing to products processed folder. To complete this example, you will need a staging database and a configured connection. You will also need a flat file. This example uses a products-based CSV file. On the desktop, let's set up two folders. Name the first, Awaiting Processing, and the second, Products Processed. We need to drag our products list CSV to the Awaiting Processing folder. Notice the products and the structure of the file. The Products Processed folder is where the file will automatically be moved to when the task is run. Open BPA Platform and navigate to your task folder. And then create a new task. Name it CSV ETL and then click the Design tab. Select Import Flat File and drag the tool onto the design area. In the General tab in Path, click Browse and select the Awaiting Processing folder. In File Name, select the file or type Products and add a wildcard so it can pick up any incremented or dated versions. And add .csv at the end. In the main file tab, ensure XML is selected as this is required for the next step in the task. In the root node name, type root. Select header row in file and then click browse. We are going to use an example CSV file, which BPA platform will use to configure the output structure and click open. The file we are using is comma delimited with a standard carriage return line feed end marker. Ensure your chosen options are selected. In the Elements Columns tab, we can see the data structure. This can be used to change the values of each node and element. Let's change New Node to Products. Within here, you can specify the type of data and other element properties. 
Let's click Preview Output and then click OK. Next in the Options tab, we will set all options to continue to allow for processing of all available files. Click OK to close this step. We will now transform the data so that the CSV input matches the expected output. Drag in a transform data step from the browser. And in the General tab, in Data Source, select Use a record set or XML from another step and select Output XML from Import Flat File. In the main tab, click Replicate Structure from Input Data Source. We can see the output structure of the XML. Let's change the output name of CSV SKU code to ERP SKU code. OK, let's go to the Mapping tab, expand the trees on both sides, and here we can see the input XML on the left and the output XML on the right. Let's drag the Products node to Products. BPA Platform will offer to automatically map child nodes at this point. Click Yes. Notice the simple loop icon that appears between the two. This will ensure the step loops through all the products in the CSV file. The CSV SKU code will need to be manually mapped to ERP SKU code as we wanted to remap the input and output on this. Let's click OK. As part of good practice and to reduce unnecessary processing, we will drag in a decision step. We will set this up to terminate the task if no files are found by proceeding to an empty run VB script step. Let's drag in a run VB script step and name it end. And then click OK. Then link these steps together. Open the Decision step and click on the Transform Data branch and click Edit. Name it File Exists. Click the Script tab and delete the word True. In the Browser Environment tab with Scope set to Task, turn down the Import Flat File tree and drag Success Count into the Script window. At the end, type greater than zero. This sets the logic to take this route if a file exists. Now click Save and Close. Now click the End branch and click Edit. Name it No File. And in the Script tab, select Else. Now click Save and Close for the branch and save and close for the step. Let's drag in a convert XML to record set step to align the output with the required format. We can go straight to the main tab and ensure data source is set to task step and in the drop down click output XML from transform data. In Output Record Set Configuration, click All in Select Fields. Then click OK, and then click Yes to the Warning dialog as our requirements are within safe limits. We now need to pass the data to the Staging Database. OK, let's drag in a Stored Procedure OLEDP step. In the General tab, Let's name it Send to Staging DB. Then ensure Use a Record Set is selected, and in the drop down, ensure Results from Convert XML to Record Set is selected. In the main tab, set your database connection to your pre configured connection. Then browse to your required procedure, and we are going to select SP Product 
Upsert. Then click OK. On the left you will see the parameters within the staging database and we will assign the fields we want to transfer by dragging the record sources from the browser. Let's drag in some fields to populate the database. In addition to your chosen fields, you will need to set TC Sync status with a value of ready by typing this in manually. And also allow insert with a value of 1. Click OK to close this step. The final step moves the processed CSV from the Awaiting Processing folder to the Products Processed folder. Let's drag in a file management step. In the General tab, name it Move Processed Files. Browse to the file source path of the CSV file, which is the Awaiting Processing folder we made previously. In File Name, browse for the file or type in the name of the CSV and add a wildcard to the file name in case it will be incremented or dated. And then add .csv to the end. In the main tab, we can use this tool to copy, rename, delete or upload. For our purposes, ensure the Move option is selected. Set the destination path by browsing to the Products Processed folder that we made earlier. And we will leave the other settings at their default values. Click OK to close this step. Let's link the remaining steps. Then click Save and Close. In a real-world scenario, this file could be added by FTP or via a network, for example. Also, our task could be set up with a schedule step that runs at regular intervals. But for demonstration purposes, let's run it by right-clicking and selecting Q Now. When the task has completed, let's look at the folders on the desktop and we can see that the file has been moved to the Products Processed folder. And in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, in the Products table, we can see that the contents of the CSV file have been transferred. This example introduces the concepts and techniques of BPA Platform. For full production examples, training and more, please contact your account manager or visit codelessplatforms.com. Thanks for watching.